Okay, um, where to begin, man? I just got released July 10th from Idaho State Correctional Center. Um, anybody that knows anything about Idaho State Correctional Center knows that it was once nicknamed Gladiator School. And it got that name for a reason. Uh, people couldn't go eat. People couldn't go to lunch, breakfast, dinner without at least getting their food sprayed because somebody was uh, putting in their piece, making their bones, do whatever they were doing. Uh, you know what I mean? Um, people want to live there and be, you know what I mean, without problems. That's really what it boils down to. So I just got my gold seal. Um, I believe the gold, it's a 10 year gold seal. So I am really excited, man. So anybody that knows about Idaho knows that it is, it can be practically impossible to even get one of these things. Um, what happens is they leave, um, an, an undeterminate amount of time. So say that, say that you had a crime, the crime, uh, ran two years fixed. They would give you the maximum sentence in what is called an undeterminate amount. So you'd get the max sentence. Uh, say your crime only cost you two years. Well, you got eight years that's indeterminate. So Idaho holds about 10 years over your head for uh, something that could be completely petty. We're talking five years for drugs. And I've seen people do 20 years because of the fact that uh, they, Idaho likes to take people street time. So if you are on the street and you even mess with parole or probation um, and you abscond whatsoever, which um, I wasn't there for drugs, but uh, a lot of drug addicts seem like that once they get high, they don't want to go explain themselves to their parole officer, right? Can you blame them? No. You know, um, most, drug addicts, most drug addicts want instant gratification. They don't want accountability. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm just going to kind of like break the spot about it a little bit, man. Um, I was in uh, D block. I was in D3, which is known specifically for being a political tier. It is a uh, political time that has to be done. Um, and for people that don't understand that or about getting ready to go, then it means that the white people ride with the white people, the black people ride with the black people, the Mexican people ride with the Mexican people. It doesn't matter if you're a, gangst a gangster or not. Um, just about less than a year ago, they, they had a, let's see, I'd probably say it was about seven months ago. They had a war that popped off in there, 27 against 17, um, Southsiders versus the natives. And the natives in Idaho, phew, crazy, dude. They, they band together like crazy. So um, if you guys have any questions about how that system is laid out in there, if you're getting ready to go there, please don't hesitate to ask. I can answer anything. Um, I can appease a little bit of worry. Um, I can tell you that D is about the only solid block there anymore just straight solid. Um, so if you're not looking to specifically get into a political situation, uh, ask me a question. I'll see how much I can help you guys out. Um, anyways, uh, smile and enjoy your free days.